Hey, has your schedule ever just been thrown in the blender and everything you had planned just doesn't, you know, work out the way you had anticipated or you have all kinds of interruptions come up? That's what's happening to me right now. And you may wonder where I'm at and why it's so yellow. And um, in this video, what I want to share with you is, uh, first of all, the yellow walls and what that's about and what to do when your schedule just gets all mucked up. So first of all, the yellow walls. I am, right now I have my Aussie daughter in town. She's visiting from Australia. She's been here a week and I'm so excited because uh, my good, you'll have seen her on the page and that is Lisa Bullock and her husband are coming and I'm just about to go pick them up at the airport. So they're coming and this yellow walled place is kind of a horrible little and it's it's going to be an office soon. So because what I'm finding is that I don't have any space to work um, upstairs because I've got all these people. I've got these dogs. Let me just, can I turn this around? Got the piglet and there's the piglet and there's of course the pirate and there's around and the piglet is always snorting or barking. And so it's really hard to get any any work done. So right now I'm developing this little office down here so I can have a little bit of quiet, at least for when I'm doing um, an upcoming podcast that I'm gonna do and my videos. So in any case, uh, I came down here to show you the before and it really is a before, horrible ceilings, but it's gonna get done next week. So what do you do when your schedule gets thrown in the, in the blender? So for me, the first thing I do is I decide what is non-negotiable. And so typically for me, what's non-negotiable is sleep, uh, my nutrition and my workouts. So uh, rather than trying to, you know, get upset and worried about everything, um, I really try and work on the things that I know. If I control those variables, if I control sleep um, and I eat well and I get a bit of exercise in, I know I can handle everything else. I can, I can function. So um, I try and let go of, of every, like of all you know, everything else that I'm worried about because we all have a lot on our plate and I just focus on those things. So number one is try and think of the, what is non-negotiable. And then number two is amend the non-negotiable and know that it's not forever. So sometimes uh, I know that, okay, I might not get my eight hours tonight, but it's going to be short term. So keeping in mind that the interruptions and the the crazy schedule might not last forever and then I know that, you know, some things, my nutrition, I might not have exactly on point, but I'll do the best I can with them. So number one, um, figure out what's non-negotiable. Number two, be willing to modify the non-negotiable and those other things. And then I made some no notes down here because I'm not usually in my in my basement here. Oh, the third thing is to ask for support. This is a thing that I'm not great at. Uh, this page is really awesome to help um, support each other and give each other ideas when we're, you know, having like we're um, the schedule is all blown up. What's a quick recipe? What's a quick workout I can do? Um, how can I handle these things? And sometimes it's just nice to be able to say, hey, I'm going nuts. Are you going nuts? Oh, I'm not going crazy all, all alone. You know, feels good to know that you have some support with that. So in any case, um, those three things um, help me to manage when um, my schedule is all blown out. I'm excited to get this yellow room looking into a cute little office down here and I'll be sharing with you how that uh, how this progresses. It should come together next week and um, the pirate and the piglet won't be down here sometimes when I'm filming so to snort and bark and interrupt and uh, but there'll be a little bit, quite a few interruptions um, before it all gets said and done. But it's all okay because that's just how it is and we just have to work around it. So if you, um, especially uh, on the workout front, if you need some ideas on, um, you know, getting some workouts in, I will, uh, I'll put a link for some short follow-along videos 
The My Bikini Belly ones are super awesome. I know lots of you on the page are already using them, but they're a great, um, you know, affordable option. Uh, don't take up much time. You can do them in your pajamas and then you'll feel good that you um, got some movement in. Anyway, I am off to the airport to pick up my beautiful friends and I will see you soon.